Hey guys, it's 50 Huzz bringing you another 30 plus episode. You know how we do, it's Friday, it's TDM 30 plus show. Today what I'm gonna speak about is Modern Warfare 3. Before I get to that, I'm using the AUG on my favourite map Summit. And that's the perfect combination, the perfect relationship. My favourite weapon, my favourite map. Let's switch to third person view, that was brilliant. Come on guys, when's the last time, honestly, honestly, answer this question. When's the last time you seen Wings of Redemption or X Draws use a bit of cinematic views in their gameplay? Come on, tell me, tell me, put your hands up. You in the back, don't lie to me, put your hand down. You know you haven't seen that video from them. I don't believe that because those dudes, I'm sure there's plenty of others. They make the most YouTube money. And they can't spare 5 seconds to include a bit of cinematic views in their gameplays. I think that's atrocious. And it just shows, they just pump out videos. But they're more concerned about quantity rather than quality. That's my opinion. But you know what, forget that. They can do what they like. I'm going to do what I like. I'm going to provide you guys with my style of entertainment, my definition. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. And if you're subscribed, then you definitely do. So let's go back to Modern Warfare 3, the topic of discussion for me and you. Now I'm not like these other commentators who like super analyse the game before it's released and I'm not going to put no chopper on the music right now because this video is pretty short. I don't want to super analyse the game before it's even released. I want some things to be a surprise. I want some things, when I play the game, I want them to like shock me and it doesn't take a lot of other commentators are like already figuring out what perks they're gonna use etc but come on man can't you just play a few games of Call of Duty and you'll soon realize which perks benefit you the most which perks you most suited to you don't need to take out all the fun out of the game by super analyzing it that's my opinion so I'm trying to stay away from all the, all the details about the game obviously I've read quite a bit regarding kill streaks. I've read that there's an assault class and a support class. I think it's a support class which makes a kill streak stuck and the assault class don't. And then there's a lot of other bits and bobs. And this is one perk. There's a perk called Assassin, which everyone is crying about. They're saying it's going to be overpowered. Honestly, how many times have we heard the word overpowered in the Call of Duty videos? I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't even know what that meant until you watch YouTube videos because it seems every other day there's something which is overpowered but it's basically like Ghost with a few added extra benefits such as no crosshair um, you're also immune you cannot be seen on the advanced UAV which is basically the blackbird so imagine Ghost if you use Ghost you, you wouldn't be shown on a blackbird which is I don't understand the thinking behind that the thing with Call of Duty is they always try and make it noob friendly. They're bringing death streaks back. But I don't know. I don't know what their thinking is. Obviously, as a YouTube community, we are a, a minority. We're nothing. Because the large majority of people are people out there in the world who don't even watch YouTube videos, right? And obviously, Call of Duty are trying to cater to those people, the majority. They want to get their cash. And by making it noob friendly, making it easy accessible for noobs, they're making that money, that cha-ching. And look at me getting barbecued. It's barbecued season. Who the hell does a barbecue on summit? <laughs> Who has barbecues in snow? Apart from me. No, I don't want to sound big headed or anything like that. I'm one of the most level headed. Um, what's the word? Modest. I'm one of the most modest level headed commentators out there. Well, I try to be anyway. I don't want to come across as someone better than you or someone higher than you. We're all on the same level, right? We're all on the same prestige. Let's put it that way so everyone can understand. But yeah, this first gameplay is coming towards an end. I love this map summit. We're getting married in the future. Sorry to break it to you guys. But anyway, I finished this first game 34 and 4, I believe. No, 34 and 2, correction. Sorry. But yeah, I'm going to catch you on the other side. Later.
Hey guys, I'm back. But you just had to listen to that instrumental. It sounds crazy. And <laughs> it just reminds me of Dr. Dre, that instrumental. If you want to check out the authors of these instrumentals, which I use in my 30 plus show, always just check out the video description. I've always got a link to their channel. I do see the same text kill and a drop shot kill on the map hotel. Whew. I'm out of breath but I'm feeling good, I'm in this mood for this commentary so let's do this But carrying on from where I left off um, The Modern Warfare 3, obviously there was COD XP as we see the cinematic views once again Look at that camp in the corner, it's funny because I missed him But my teammate got him, sharing this caring But getting back to what I was speaking about COD XP, obviously a lot of the big YouTubers went to that event Played Modern Warfare 3 first hand and they were sharing their experiences I remember the Mark of J was saying this was going to be one of the most difficult Call of Duty games because Call of Duty in general is a very easy game. Don't ever be tricked into thinking it takes skill to play this game. In my opinion it just takes good reaction speeds and basic knowledge of spawns and you'll be a great player at this game. Um, but yes, yeah, someone else said that it's going to be the fastest paced Call of Duty out so far. So that's great because the feel and the speed of Modern Warfare 2 was brilliant. After playing Call of Duty Black Ops so much and then going back to Modern Warfare 2, you actually notice the difference and how great of a game Modern Warfare 2 was. The thing that let down Modern Warfare 2 was the perk system. The one man army with the noob tubes etc. That's what messed that game up. So if they can rectify this for the Modern Warfare 3, I've got high expectations for Modern Warfare 3. I had no expectations for Call of Duty Black Ops. In my opinion Call of Duty Black Ops is a, I'm not going to say it's a very good game. It's a decent game, right? It's not spectacular. It's not completely rubbish at the same time. Yes, the hit detection in this game is atrocious. There is no hit detection in this game. That's the issue with it. You don't know if you're actually killing someone or not. And you go back to Modern Warfare 2 and you'll realize when you shoot someone, when you get a bullet into their body, you actually feel it. You get that hit marker sign. But in this game, there's nothing. It's like you're shooting ghosts. But I hope in Modern Warfare 3, everything is sorted out apparently for everything there's a counter so it's going to be like the most balanced Call of Duty out there which I don't mind that's good and even playing field for all players is good um, but yeah what do you guys think about Modern Warfare 3 after seeing the videos yes the graphics are more or less the same as Modern Warfare 2 I didn't expect a graphics overhaul it wasn't ever gonna beat Battlefield 3 in that department talking about Battlefield 3 right Yes, it's a first person shooter, they both are, but Battlefield 3 is a war simulator in my opinion, it's completely different and, and Modern Warfare 3, the Call of Duty series in general, is more of an arcade first person shooter, you just pick it up, quick games, you can have fun, you straight into the action, Battlefield 3 is completely different, the whole Battlefield series, it's like a super massive map, more players, vehicles, objectives, it's way more team based, there's a very big difference between the two games, I would go out as far as saying you can't even compare the two games, you cannot, they're completely different, it's like comparing Need for Speed to Gran Turismo 5, they're completely different even though they're both from the racing genre, they are different, <sighs> so let's speak about the gameplay, I got the AK-47 with the YouTube emblem, killing people with this dual attachment now this particular game a lot of the games on the hotel map last for a long time <laughs> I fast forwarded so many parts in this video and still it was approximately a seven minute video just for this segment of this overall video and I've and now finally we're seeing like the gameplays where I recorded properly in my opinion using all the cinematic views so hopefully you guys are seeing the fruits and the benefits of that and enjoying it visually and at the same time in enjoying the instrumental and enjoying the information I'm providing you guys via the commentary Ha! Ah, do I need a sip of water do you guys think I deserve a sip of water nah probably not and by the way there's a part in this video I think is right now where I just go on a death streak, I cannot kill anyone, every time I see someone I die, someone took my sentry gun, ah oh, this was very sad in part in this game, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that part of the video actually shows that we're not superhuman commentators, as you see I just keep getting killed, it was terrible, I think it was like 4 or 5 deaths in a row, 
another death there. And I couldn't believe it. I really thought I wasn't going to get the 30 kills after that little part of the video. Because to get 30 kills, sorry, I just hit my head. Um, to get 30 kills, I have a little measuring device. Well, a scale that I go by. Um, once you hit the 35 kills for your team, you need to have 15 kills in order to get 30 kills. That's my general rule of thumb. If I don't, then I don't quit the game, I still play, but I know there's a like, 90% chance I won't get a 30 plus. So just bear that in mind when you guys play TDM. But what game types am I going to play Modern Warfare 3? Obviously, it's going to be 636 TDM. Although there's a new game type called Kill Confirmed, which looks really good and interesting. Basically, you kill someone, and that doesn't count as a kill towards like the overall score. You have to go pick up a tag which that person drops after you kill them in order to confirm the kill, which I think is pretty cool. It's gonna add a whole new dimension to TDM. And check this carpet out in the corner, eating breakfast. This is the wrong time for breakfast. And get out the corner. His friend comes up the lift. His friend gets knifed. Oh, we need a replay of that, please. Oh, that was brilliant. You know, those moments in games, it just brings you an adrenaline rush. And ah, ah, everyone sink. Ah, that felt great. Got the black bed. By the way, the kill streaks in this game were the spy plane and the sentry gun and the black bed. So, no chopper gun and no dogs. On hotel, I think it's crucial to use black bed because it's such a large map. And a lot of places people camp, so the black bear just exposes all of them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and this entire video. I went 33 and 8 and I remember I got like 5 deaths in a row. Please leave a rating, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I'll catch you next time. Latest.